Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Feelers, and this is part two in my series on the toolbar. If you missed part one, please click on the link below, because there I talked about the toolbar when you use the Move tool. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about the Crop toolbar, so let's get started. So I went into the Stock Photo tab and clicked on Landscape, and I chose this picture from Pixels. Now, believe me, this picture was not crooked like this. I purposely made it crooked for this tutorial. Say you took a photo and the horizon was crooked and you needed to straighten it out. Well, that's what the crop tool is good for. So let's click the crop tool and you'll see right here it says straighten. And when you click straighten, your cursor turns in a, into a level. And what you do is you, you find the line that you want to straighten out and you click your mouse and hold down your mouse, your left mouse button and when you get to the other point and you make sure you're approximately where you want to be, you let go. So after, you, after you've straightened it out, you need to crop out the white spaces. So you can do it this way, that's one way. And then you'll hit apply, but instead of doing that, you might want to keep here where it says mode, that says unconstrained. Maybe you want the original ratio. If you want the original ratio, you can do it this way and you can crop it out and it's still the same exact ratio you started with. And I'll, let's undo that. Or you can do a absolute size. And if you want to do an absolute size, you can choose inches right here or feet or pixels, however you want. That's an absolute size. Another way to do it is see the gear. We have a little gear here. We can click the gear and you could say, well, now I want this to fit on, let me see, a paper size, say you want to print it on an eight and a half by 11. So that's an eight and a half by 11, but it's too small for that. So you lower that and you bring this up. And when you're done printing, if you hit apply now, you have a straightened out photo. And let's check document, resize document. It's eight and a half by 11. So now you can print a perfect eight and a half by 11 and it's straight just like that. So that's one way to do it. Also, when you go to the crop tool on the toolbar, there's a reveal button. Reveal shows you what's cropped out. You didn't lose any of that. Let me hide the one behind it. You didn't lose any of that. So for example, you could bring it back at any point in time. So if you wanted to bring it back and hit apply there, you just brought that whole picture back. So you never lost any of the pieces in that crop tool. Uh, let's see what else we can find here. So we hit mode. That told you, tells you your sizes you can pick. Absolute allows you to choose sizes. You can do custom ratio any way you want. You can do unconstraint, which means it doesn't matter what shape. Maybe you want this to just be a tiny narrow shape like that. And, and that'll be, let's hit apply and see what happens there. And I'm going to undo that. And next on the list, that just tells you what you're cropping to. You can rotate the crop. So if you had, for example, if you said you wanted this to be, um, no, here. So let's say you wanted this to be, uh, 8 by 10 right and then you click rotate it's you want it to be an 8 by 10 that way so now it stays as an 8 by 10 and you lower this this way and you can't squeeze or stretch it so in the end you'll still have an 8 by 10 but it'll be a portrait instead of a landscape I will undo that again and what else can we find here that's the dots per inch if you're going to do, obviously, if you're doing print, you stay at 300. If you plan on doing the web, 72 to 100 is great. There's no problem there. We hit rotate. We hit straighten. Uh, there's uh, thirds grids. This is a third grid because the rule of thirds is you, in this particular case, it doesn't matter, but you want your feature of a photograph to be in these corners right where they cross. But if you don't want to use thirds, you can use the diagonal. And that might even be more, make more sense for this photo. So for example, in this photo, so let's just crop it and we'll keep it to the original ratio. 
So I'm trying to keep the original ratio and what I'd like to do in this particular case is show that right in the middle because I'm using diagonals I really would like that this part of the photo to appear right in the middle and if I hit apply that that's exactly where I wanted it to be and I'm not sure I like it but that's one of the reasons to do it I'm going to undo that again and let's see what else we have so diagonals and then there's the golden spiral which is also a way of uh, also a way of cropping a certain way so that your photograph is mostly in this section your feature and your eye points to that section and if I want to reset well, I didn't do anything so I can't reset right now and I can do darken or lighten I like the dark background let's reveal here if you want a lighter background depends if you were working with something that had a black background you wouldn't be able to see where the edges are so you can turn it to a lighter background like that so I think we've covered everything and so that's part two and that is the crop tool so subscribe so you'll be able to be notified when the next one comes out because I'm planning on using each tool and looking at all the different things the toolbar shows and explaining how each one works because every time you click a tool something else shows up on top so I hope you like this tutorial and have a good day